Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an arc, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition, every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. Move. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. Saint John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal Saint John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit. He's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. In here. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, why don't you read it? Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, A -terp turpin. Tur Get out. Shit. Get out! I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. 
He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylatic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Sir. Stand at attention. Dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun, was and we had to go south. We, Nero. They yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and Farewell I was away. overrun. They said that everybody was mountain. dead. And I didn't think that. I never thought I would see you again. Seen. Listen, we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they, are they forcing you to stay here? No, I don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me? If the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old.
Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood, a fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. St. John. Captain Curry to Deacon St. John. Please report to me at Diamond Lake. Yes, Captain. I'm here. Uh, copy that. That. The center bar is kind of red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. Gonna be hard to miss. Test the ore. It's gotta be at least 60% pure or I can't use it. should be it. Say Red Rock, the luster. Sim bar, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah, you'll do.
Tommies. Got it. Finally, Jesus. See if this pump is working. Come on, let's see how pure you are. Come on. Oh, yeah, you'll do. Okay, need more ore. with flooding even back in the day. I just gotta get it, uh, well, turned on.
Here we go, Cinnabar. Nice, this will work. Come on, Moore, let's see how pure you are. One or two more samples is all I need. Cinnabar, that's good, good. And now I just gotta test. Yep, just pure enough. Just one more. Elevator shaft. Oh, God damn it. Wonder where this goes. Only one way to find out. Ah, what's up here? Another tunnel? Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. Oh, I haven't been up here before. Lieutenant Weaver, this is St. John. I've got the Cinnabar you asked for. St. John, good, good. I'm almost ready for it. Oh, oh, hold on a sec. Can I help you, Lieutenant? Weaver, I ran out of isopropyl alcohol. Do you have any? Yeah, I got a bottle of vodka back in my tent. <laughs> Stop by later. Jesus, you never give up, do you? Don't be such a stranger. Fuck off. St. John. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, just drop off the hall as soon as you can. I got some more shit I need you to get. Weaver out. Go to Corey, let him handle it. Got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call. Yeah. Okay, Mr. St. <laughs> John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Out. Jesus Christ, tell me what the hell Lieutenant. <laughs> nah, man. Leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. Oh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think that's what you were looking for. All right. Yeah. yeah. This is great. Hey, just wait a second. Here. 
polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, got it. Hey, man. By the way, how did it go with the Wizard Island Witch? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? <sighs> man, I thought you were going to leave all that shit by the door. That'll be all, Corporal. That'll be all. Uh, what was I doing when the world got sick? <laughs> it's on with Captain Curry. Let him in. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The feds were whining we babies, suckling at the teeth of us taxpayers. Together. Dumb as they were, Betty? we can't Betty. underestimate them. You gotta know that Chief Muckety Mucks are hiding out there in some bunker, waiting for the freaks to die off. They didn't save the hungry, or their precious constituents. You know the real reason they're in power. They saved the elite, the men and women who played ball. They're sitting underground, probably drinking champagne while they wait. Meanwhile, we're out here dying, suffering. Also, the feds can hit the damn reset button. But they didn't account for one thing. We're not as stupid as they thought we were. And once they emerge to reclaim the world when the freaks are gone, we'll be waiting. Oh, yes, we will. And they'll be sorry they ever came out of hiding. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Ah, oh, Jesus, even all the way down here, I can't get away from goddamn Radio Free Oregon. Corporal. Good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Oh, sure, yeah, uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man, Sergeant Lee Anderson, was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the code of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? I've marked the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently, like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great. Let's take a look around. All right, what have we got? Oh, God, is that Anderson? The dragon? Well, how the hell am I going to get my bounty?
stud coyote near a beacon. Okay, where is it? Oh, I gotta find another way into that cave. Another Nero micro, another Nero injector. Good. Hmm. It's about due for a flu shot. I gotta get out of here. One four six three. We are at the designated site three zero one. Dead coyote lava cave. Ironically hmm. named since we're here inspecting the remains of a genus Lupus mutans. to ask one of you guys. You guys? Yeah, you know, in the research division. Uh, how'd the virus, you know, jump? You mean, how did it jump species? Yeah, I mean, we seen it in cats, dogs, birds, these wolves. I, I didn't think it was possible. Do you know what viral, zoonotic, neuroinvasive disease is, Corporal? <laughs> no, don't have a clue. Think rabies, just like the hooligan virus. Rabies spreads through contact with fluids. Saliva, blood, semen. Oh, that's just gross. And while it primarily infects mammals, lab cultures have shown that it can also infect birds, reptiles, and even insects. Do you know how many mammals there are in the world? A lot, I'm guessing. Yes, a lot. 5,488 to be exact, depending on who you ask. All of which, cats, rabbits, dogs, horses, skunks, possums, foxes, monkeys, groundhogs, and yes, wolves, can be infected and can spread the virus. Jesus. What's it mean? For us, I mean. Look at the musculature of this subject. Swollen and distinguished superglioid tuber vulture. The owner of the tuberocyte. A normal wolf. Could run 31 to 37 miles per hour. This guy? He could top out at 60. Yeah. And he could shoot the tire off a motorcycle while doing it. Better than than us. Squeeze through here. You still got your militia armband.
Just gotta, just gotta go back and turn this in. Not a lot of ammo left. He's with us. Open up. Let's work, people. Keep moving. Cop it. Rumi, right? Uh, hey, I, I gotta ask. You, uh... Well, you seem a long way from home out here. I was studying theater at the community college here. Go fighting Pratipus. Yes? I am... I was an exchange student from Yokohama. In Japan. I kind of figured that. Yes. Anyway, as you say, a long way from home. All right. Go back home. Captain, I found your man, Anderson. You were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. It's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. So, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. Y yeah, fr from Canada, originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family. Yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, uh, w west of Crater Lake. The wife and kids, uh, my boys, would have been eight and nine this year. Canada? Oh, you're a long way from home. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary, at the Technical Institute. Oh, you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the colonel, he, uh, g gave me this job, so now this is home, yeah? Yeah. Corporal, stay safe out there. I got the gate. Get St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the research division? Captain, uh, research division, or, uh, yeah, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be and just sort of 
their errand boy for now, and actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes, here. Yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitor's Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I can find it. Good luck, Corporal. Curry out. Nothing, huh? Hey, Corporal. Damn. I'll see you. You're sore. Ah, Corporal. Right, so get back to work. Hey, Sergeant. Sarge. Visitor center. It's gotta be. No, I just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen. It's gotta be kitchen. Shit. Breakers. Had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy.
Damn it. Ma'am? Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. Well, my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, where to find no, one. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I'm in for staying. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 